From uh, which uh, organization? Youth Advisory Board. Okay. My name is Z Adam from Youth Advisory Board. I'm the first one from the Z Advisory Board. National Youth Authority. National Youth Authority. Youth Authority. Felix Okay. Zati Mati West Immigration. Okay. Wild West Immigration. Okay. National Youth Authority. Okay. Youth Authority. Okay. Okay. Young African Great Man. Okay. Okay. Young African great man. Okay. Alright. Thank you very much. So my name is Godfrey and then um uh here is just My name is Mohammed Hanafi. Okay, and then uh, we have Christian. Okay, and we have a very special guest coming all the way from Bahrain. In the kingdom of Bahrain. Uh we are an NGO called International Institute of Inspiration Economy. And then um as of now uh, Dr. Wood uh, present to us the main reason why we are here. With a round of applause, let's welcome you. Thank you. Okay, sorry, sir. Uh, before that, Director Wood. Okay. Thank you very much. I think. Um, let it come here? No, no, you, you use it. Uh, you are you our are guest. Thank you. Uh -huh. So, um, we made some introduction, and maybe I need to throw more light on the various groups that are gathered. We have about five or six groups that have met here now. The youth, uh, we had a youth advisory board. That is a, a youth group under Plan International Ghana. Mm -hmm. uh, so they are also in the other districts yes. of the region. And we also had of uh, Ghana Youth Federation. Mm -hmm. Ghana Youth Federation is more or less like an umbrella body of all the youth groups in the region. Yes, nice. so that, that's an umbrella body. For the region or for the whole Ghana? It, it's for the whole Ghana, but they are rep here. Yeah, yeah, it's for, for the region. region. Yes. Uh -huh. So all the registered nice. youth groups and the National Youth Authority, mm -hmm. they come together to form the um, Ghana Youth Federation. That yeah. is for the youth groups. And we have Network for Young Women Empowerment. Uh, you can see that the name alone is yes. for itself. So yes. It's a network of young women selected from um, different um, districts in the region that have come together to serve as a voice for young women. So they engage themselves in more, more in gender issues. We met with the, this, uh, the girls from the Action, was that it? Yeah, um, Young Urban Women Movement. Okay. They are so also part of you? Young, I, I you young uh, Urban Women? No, they are in Tamil. They are in Tamil, yeah. okay. okay. But yeah. no, they have a... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Uh, so they focus more on issues like child marriage, yeah. um, teenage pregnancy, uh, issues that affect young girls. Uh, and we have the, uh, youth parliamentarians here. You know, as a region, we have a youth parliament. Okay. But we have district youth parliaments as well. Okay. So we have refs here. And I think uh, young African great mind here, we already know about them. Mm -hmm. Basically, it's more or less like the refs of all the major development-oriented you can see the region. Okay. And these are the main organizations that we engage in most of our uh, development projects. Uh, so even after your engagement with them, we are even supposed to have some of the outreach programs that we are supposed to have. So I would say your meeting with them is very timely. Yeah. Yes, it's very timely. We are going to get a lot of activities uh, that uh, is going to help them in their uh, activities, um, upcoming activities. Yes. So once again, you're welcome. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Okay, uh, as uh, Brother Fred said uh, that we are running out of time, I thank you, sir, for the introduction. Now it's more cl clarified for me, so thank you. Yeah, me. We'll
will say that uh, such a person he have empathetic mind uh, and uh, we what we need today is to work on today I was saying to the guys yesterday is the world is uh, moving so fast that we cannot afford anymore to live uh, without what you call full thinking means that we have to be selective and where we uh, we would uh, leave our legacy every one of us have a, will have a legacy after he leave this world some of us will have a large le legacy with high impact some of us will have limited legacy maybe mm -hmm. only his family or maybe only uh, for himself unfortunately okay. uh, we suffer this a lot from the Arab world coming uh, my uh, background from the Arab world but I claim that uh, I don't like people to tell me I'm from Bahrain I claim that I'm an international citizen and uh, I, I dedicated my rest of my life since 45, so I'm now 56, uh, and just early retirement only a few years ago, more to dedicate my life than to create the, the, the change that I believe in, that uh, the change, whatever is the name, brand will, will give you card, uh, we call it now inspiration economy, but whatever the brand is one message is that we can, we humans are more important than the dollar, okay, or CD, your CD, okay. It is more important than uh, looking for a fund. It's more important than even uh, our power within us, we can change the whole world. And we work in a formula different than the formula of capital-based economy. Capital-based economy uh, uh, talks about supply versus demand. Our formula here is about capacity versus demand. See, I didn't know today, for example, that uh, I will meet you, okay? And actually, this morning, uh, I apologize for Kwesi, I gave a little bit uh, any shout or shock because uh, we are under pressure to leave, uh, you know, uh, to the airport within one hour because we have a flight to catch to Accra and so on. But uh, what I wanted to say here is that uh, this is the capacity, is that, uh, okay, I met now these people, what should I, uh, after the introduction, I got to know where, where am I, what, uh, what I'm doing now, yeah. So uh, it is uh, up to us to raise this capacity that we have to be, have high readiness. We have to be uh, not only uh, having efficiency in our services, but we have to have effectiveness. And most of the NGOs I meet in the whole world, and, uh, and uh, I travel to 63 countries. And uh, in the last only, uh, since I dedicated my life to this uh, NGO that we created in Slovenia, I didn't create it in Bahrain, okay? Bahrain actually have a society that recently only established about years, two years ago. Uh, we created, see, this is a global citizen, and this is what we say always, think global, act local. Okay, that we shouldn't, okay, we are doing something for our ultimate yes now, but always our thinking is that this will be a story, that the whole world should learn from it. We are not working only for our communities, for, uh, and many who are not working for ourselves. All of us want to be successful, but the most important that we, more than being su successful, success is for ourselves. But to be inspired and inspiring means that we want to uh, affect the community in a way that inspired person, he affect many people. And he, while he is doing our project, he will do lots of, pro uh, this project will open lots of projects, other projects. The more people replicate you and replicate your model, not replicate your structure, not replicate your NGO, not replicate whatever services you are doing, no, replicate your successful model that you are achieving faster, with minimal resources, it means that you are going, uh, going towards inspiration. So what I wanted to tell you here is that there is uh, this, uh, the purpose of the visit, uh, because this is what Fred uh, asked me to talk about now, is that we want to collaborate with lots of NGOs. I came now unofficially. I came as a visitor, based on our friend's, uh, again, invitation and so on. But uh, looking forward, whether we 